one more thing I want to talk about Arctic. Yeah. Uh, is you guys shot a polar bear. We did. You guys have a freaking like filmed polar a po- bear. Filmed a polar bear. Oh no, they sniped it with no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> uh, I, I just because you always hear in, in in the film industry, it's like you never want to shoot with animals or kids yeah. because they're it's like really hard. And then you're trying to shoot with a bear is like yeah. extra hard. But most people shoot with like a grizzly bear. There's like yeah. there's people who have grizzly bears. This guy here, film. right? Shot with yep. a grizzly bear. Yeah, and mm-hmm. but you guys shot with a polar bear. Yeah, and I, I want to hear. For, like from the beginning, you guys knew you were gonna have a bear in the movie. Because yeah. I I know a, a little bit about the story about like what led up to making uh you guys filming a bear. So uh, when we first shot the scene in Iceland with the polar bear, there's this basically this polar bear that attacks the the cave, but it's on the other side of the wall and it can't get in, right? Or it's trying to at least. So so what's man's gonna do? Um, we from the beginning we were told that we can't afford a polar bear, like. Um, probably not, but go talk to the producers of The Revenant. Right? So we did. We had a meeting, general meeting with them, and it's like, oh, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. You know, just kind of like they call it just a water bottle meeting. They offer you a water bottle. And, <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, great, thank you, or, or whatever it may be. Um, and so uh, I asked her about the bear. You know, I'm like, oh, so, so how'd you guys do the bear? She tells me about technically how that was done. I'm like, okay, so we have a polar bear that we're going to need for our film. Uh, she's like, oh, what's what's your budget? So I tell her a budget, and she's like, oh, that's close. Like polar bear is a little <laughs> harder to do than a grizzly, um, you know, because of the way that the hair works, et cetera, et cetera. It's a little translucent, so grizzly is a lot easier to do CG. But okay, we I think we can make it work. Just pare down your shots a little bit. <laughs> um, and halfway into it, we both realized that I had given her the budget of the film, and not the budget <laughs> of the polar bear. And she goes. Oh, honey. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't even get like a still of a polar bear for, for that much. Oh okay, well, we got to figure something else out. So, okay, we, we go and we shoot the scene with like this paw thing, uh, this claw thing that we had like our biggest art director on set. You know, this guy who's like a body, Icelandic bodybuilder. So he's about as big as a polar bear. Not 800 pounds big, but still, you know. Uh, and he's like, doing it's actually pretty scary on set, you know, and we're like, oh, this might work. Uh, and then Ryan is putting the scene together and he's cutting it together and he's like, mm. <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> you know, it doesn't work. It's the only time in the film that we break his perspective uh, if we were to go outside and show the polar bear. But what are we going to do? Like, we can't, we can't do it. So I'm like, okay, I have an idea. So I go on YouTube and I'm like, I'm going to find some like footage of polar bears. And because we, we come from YouTube and we have VFX uh, experience, we can, make it happen. we can make it something happen, right? We can license some National Geographic footage. So I find this this polar bear attacking a walrus, right? Hmm. I'm like, okay, let's rotoscope them out and just put them in our film. Uh, it's a National Geographic documentary that they found. So we do that, and and poor Ryan has like frame by frame rotoscope <laughs> furry polar bear, which is, you know, it's horrendously, horrendously difficult. Oh, yeah. Rotoscoping right. hair is probably the easiest to be a yes. No, not at all. Not at all. It's like the hardest thing ever. It's just the only harder thing is like snow in front of the camera. Oh, gosh. Uh, which we had to that. do sometimes. Uh, but anyway, so so we, we put the polar bear into the scene. And it's like, eh, you know, it's it sort of works, you know, but the, the timing of it works really well. But as I was searching for that footage, I found a, a video of a guy swimming in, in a swimming pool with a polar bear. Hmm. And I'm like, so then I, I, I find his name and, and I track him down and I like yellow pages him, hmm. uh, you know, and I call him <laughs> and I'm like, hey, um, uh, Mark. He's like, yeah, Mark. I'm like, um, do you have a polar bear? Like, is, is this something you have? He's like, yeah, yeah, I've got a polar bear. And I was a Canadian guy, super nice. You know, and, and I'm like, um, does it like do things? He's like, you're going to have to be like way more specific. It was like, cause I, I thought that I had called like 18 of the guys with the same name. So like I'd forgotten all my questions by then. You know? And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I have this short, this, uh, this feature film. Uh, I'll be real with you. It's a feature film. Uh, you know, it's uh, a short film always gets you a little discount, but you know, all right, fine. It's a feature. Uh, and you know, we need a, a polar bear for it. And, and I basically need her to like, kind of sort of like try to the, attack a cave. It's just something. She's like, oh, but she's 22 years old. I'm like, oh, she's she's young. She's like, no, bears usually live until like they're 20. 
uh, you know, she's she's relatively old. She's like, well, she has been in commercials before, but you know, she's she takes it easy nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. Um, well, we have this like indie film. It's like a survival film. He's like, oh, I like survival films. Mm. Uh, it was like it's basically only one person on screen the whole time. He's like, ooh, I, I like that kind of film. Who's the actor? And interestingly enough, in the U.S., I usually have to be like, it's Mads Mikkelsen. He's the guy from Casino Royale. He's the guy from Hannibal. He's the guy from Rogue One. And people are like, oh, I love that guy. Whereas in Europe, it's like it's Mads Mikkelsen. People are like, oh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they know him by name. Uh, but in the U.S., it's like unless you're a gamer and you can't wait for Death Stranding or like you're <laughs> <laughs> or something like that, uh, or you're a huge Hannibal fan or like you really love Casino Royale, you, you know his face, yeah. you know, which is what all we needed for for the level of notoriety, you know, somebody who's huge in, in Europe. So I, I say, it's Mads Mikkelsen. He's, and I'm ready for my spiel. And he goes, Mads Mikkelsen. Oh my God, that's my favorite actor. <laughs> I'm like, yes, isn't it? <laughs> right? Yeah, it is. Can't we make this work? He's like, I think we can make this work. So then he sends me a budget. And I'm like, we can't make this work, but <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, he's like, oh, how much can you, can you afford? So then I send him as a joke. I like literally just like cross out one of the zeros. <laughs> and I'm like, ha You know, as a text message to him, he's like, all right, we'll can make it happen. Oh, wow. I'm like, oh, great. Let's That's make it happen. Awesome. So, so then, yeah, we, um, I find, I put together a whole budget. Uh, the guys who did like the caves for Prometheus in Vancouver. Uh, she happens to be near Vancouver, which is great. We have like uh, people there, you know. He gives me all these stipulations like, you can't have food in the stage for like two weeks prior because mm. otherwise she'll smell it and she won't find it and she'll be upset. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, so we can't shoot at a stage then because we can't hire a stage out for two weeks in a day. You know, we can't afford that. So we found this like paper warehouse that was willing to <laughs> to like kind of let us turn it into stage. Like if you let my kids come see the polar bear. You know? <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, it's, it's, you won't, you'll be surprised with how many people just want to do cool things. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Mads, you just want to do cool things. This, these people who want to just want to do cool things. There's value in cool things. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I like sent a link to the film to like the guy who was the production designer in, and of Prometheus. And he's like, oh, cool. Yeah. I'll build your cave. I'll have my art director build your cave. Yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll do it at cost, hmm. you know? So it it's all of those little things that kind of sort of add up to be able to do a polar bear for really really cheap so then we show what we still need it's cheap but it's still like six figures you know mm -hmm. we need we need a producer approval so we just don't tell them that we've added the polar bear to the film oh. you know oh. and then we we play them the film the entire <laughs> film from back to they haven't seen anything right we we show them the, and then we have the national geographic bear there right uh, and then at the end of the film, they go, oh, wow, wow. Like that's, that worked really well. Guys, like the whole film is so beautiful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Compliments, compliments. The polar bear, what are we going to do about the polar bear? We can't, we, what, what, what's that? So then I pull out a budget and I'm like, we can do it for this much. And it's like way cheaper than, than the CG polar bear that everybody had been thinking about. And they're like, to their credit, they were like, oh, that's going to be real expensive, but. Yeah, we need it. Let's hmm. do it. Let's do it. Oh, it'll, nice. it'll be in the trailer. Awesome. It'll be worth it. That's great. Yeah, so we, we did it. We went out and um, crazy stipulations like we needed real snow that was way more expensive. Otherwise, she steps. She destroyed a set one time because it was fake snow. <laughs> and she was like, I'm, forget this and went back into her trailer. You know? uh, I couldn't speak to either her or her trainer at any times. So, uh, you know, I had to speak to the trainer's wife and then the wife had to like whisper to the trainer. Yeah. You know? I mean, that sounds kind of like a weird thing, but at the same time, it's like you're dealing with the real polar bear. It's These like things are animal. beasts. Yeah. It's 800 pounds. You know, we, 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 it's like all of these crazy things. Uh, we're shooting in August, which means that we have to bring in three dump trucks worth of ice in order to make enough snow for her. Wow. Yeah. 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 And also there can't be a lot of people on set. Uh, and I'm like, well, I need somebody, like, I need a stand-in to be wearing Mads' parka. He's like, looks like you're going to be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I put on the parka, and he's like, oh, just act scared. I'm like, I don't have to act scared. <laughs> like, There's no acting and, happening right I'm now. I'm reacting scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was it was like, okay, we got what we needed. We shot the whole thing. You guys will appreciate this. We, we shot the whole thing at, like, 240 frames per second. Oh, yeah. 
um, because most people are like, oh, you're gonna under crank the shot, uh, you know, so shoot it at 12 frames per second and then speed up to 24 and then it'll look like she's faster than she actually is. But if you shoot it at like 240, it gives you a bunch of options mm -hmm. to actually speed it up however you want and yep. then you just add your motion blur in later. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. It's Real funny smart. how many people miss that with uh, under cranking. It's like if you under if you shoot a fight scene at 22 frames per second, you're stuck. You're stuck at 22 frames yeah. per second. Yeah. 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 Whereas if you shoot it at like way more than what you need, yeah. then you know you can get really really close. There are all of these mathematical things that you can like you can speed it up by exactly 80 percent, exactly 50 percent, exactly 25 percent. You know. Yeah. And still be perfect where you're falling on a frame that temporarily was there. You know? Yeah, no drop frames or anything like yeah. that where you're having to like interpolate between right. frames if you oh, shot at like 30 is, or 60. Yeah, they, then you don't, you have zero motion blur. So there's a problem called real smart motion blur that you can take. And I love real smart motion blur. It's been it's around a since like right? 99. <laughs> right? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a really, yeah. really old program, but it <laughs> still works really well. Yeah. N incredible hog. Like if real smart is running on a computer, don't do anything else to it. <laughs> it it'll like it'll blow up and, and turn into a black hole. It's the sort of thing that I turn on right before I render the shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did you did you struggle to get the polar bear to actually do the beats that you needed, or was that pretty straightforward? Well, um, uh, so <clears throat> she she has a couple tricks, right? Um, this is gonna totally ruin the, the the film for a lot of people, but um, I'll do it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. ruin it. Uh, <laughs> It, so she doesn't roar. I, I asked the guy, like, should I bring a, a sound person, you know, and 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 record her roar? He goes, oh, no, she doesn't roar. If she roars, there's something like massively going wrong. Run, <laughs> because oh. there's something <laughs> there's something that's gonna happen. I'm like, okay. Uh, so then, how do how do you get her to roar? I've seen her roar in a commercial before. She's like, okay. What I do is I have like a little stick, and I say, smile, smile, mm -hmm. smile, and then she goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, good bear, good bear. <laughs> like the whole thing was so positive, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that we we actually had to start acting scared because I'm like, oh, she's smiling, <laughs> you know? Oh no, she's smiling. <laughs> you know? um, and uh, yeah, so so we add the roar in later. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing that like in bed next to my wife, and she was trying to read a book, and she's like, take your headphones off. I can hear you. Like, stop, I can hear the bear. Like, I'm trying to read a book. Can you go do this somewhere else? You know? I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, I'll turn it down. Uh, so so anyway, it was like that. But then the worst thing was that it was August, so the snow was melting. Uh, so we had to keep refreshing the snow. And, you know, it like it's he gives you like a, a, a range. Like, I think I'm going to be able to get it ready between 30 and 45 minutes, right? So we were doing the math, okay, 30 to 45, let's kind of do it in the middle, blah, 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 blah. and she was ready in 28 minutes, Ooh. you know? So there was a little too much snow, there's a little hole that she's supposed to put her head through, and there's a treat on the other side for her. Uh, so then she gets up on on the snow, and she's like, ooh, snow, and she's like loving it, and she kind of like lies down on the snow, and she looks super cute and fluffy, and I'm like, okay, let's go. scary, 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 go. You know, and then she kind of gets up, and she realizes there's a hole, and she's like, oh, I wanna see what's in there. And then the trainer's on the other side. It's like, come here, Aggie. Come here, Aggie. Come on. Uh, there's a treat for you over here. And then she like tries to put her head through, and she can't. Mm. And she goes, okay, I'll try to put my head through this way. And she can't. Uh -oh. And then the trainer turns to me and is like, this is going to be a problem. And she starts <laughs> going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like she's not supposed to roar ever. And I'm like, uh-oh. And she starts going like this, like trying to do the snow. And I'm like, to the camera guys, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was about to say, aren't you just rolling on all yeah. of oh, it? Oh, we are, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, we've been rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's like, okay, good. And she's so frustrated. She starts pacing back and forth in, in, in the scene. And she's not, she can't get in and she's upset. Right. So literally this is happening. Uh But the, the only issue is that you actually have an 800 pound beast that's uh, angry yeah. in front of you you know and like you're the one who's closest to her and, and she's like and she goes mm, 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 and she climbs on top of it and like like does that whole smackdown thing that, that she does right and and then she starts like she finally is able to like kind of like put it through and then he goes smile smile and she goes 
<laughs> <laughs> but you can tell that there's a snarl to the smile, you know, and there was like a little bit of sound to the smile. There's been supposed to be. It's just like it's not like a, but it's it's like, kind of thing, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, and I'm right there, like pretending to be scared, but I'm actually scared. And and it goes, okay, okay, get out. And then she goes back to her trailer. There's a little waiting pool in there for her. Mm. Little your pool in this forty foot long trailer, and he closes her in, gives her a, a nice treat because when she goes into the trailer, she gets the nice treats. Mm. Uh, and he closes the door and looks at me. And he's like, "You got that?" He's like, "I got that." It's like, "Coach, do you need anything else?" <laughs> I was like, "Let's keep going. Let's keep, let's keep trying." <laughs> yeah, and then and yeah, it was it was good. She she was a she was a good sport about it. That's really exciting. Yeah. yeah how many yeah. how many cameras were you using or were you rolling on? We had let's see. We, were, we the only thing that we were shooting red. The the rest of it was Alexa. So we had one, two, three, and then four for like a little tiny camera that was like just the the DP's camera that mm -hmm. we ended up not using it. Uh, but it, it turned out to be cool for like a behind the scenes kind of thing. Hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, dude, the shot where the bear was like literally sticking her head through the hole, mm -hmm. and you see it from the other side. Yeah. It's just like this this snowy wall and mm -hmm. a bear head mm -hmm. just with a gaping maw. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my God, it's that's insane. a bear. That's a real bear. It's a real bear, right? Yeah. You know, one reviewer said, the film was good. Everything was good about the film. It was all great. Mm -hmm. But the CG bear was just so <laughs> over the top. Like adding a little like spit inside of her mouth. It was way like completely unbelievable. And I was like, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, props to the editor for that, uh, you know, Ryan, who edited the film, because yeah. we had already shot the stuff with Mads. So basically the bear had to hit her marks. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not possible. So, yeah. you know, like he found little bits of where like Mads looks up and then she's climbing on top, you know, and then Mads looks back down. Like, you know, like we analyzed almost frame by frame that footage to be able to figure out how to like marry these two people who weren't playing against each other together to make it seem like they were in the same room, you know? And then we got some pickups here in LA. Christian was, uh, I think Christian was was part of it. Yeah, oh no, it was uh, uh, Alex who had been working for me for a while. Um, and and Carolyn. So in LA, we got some green screen stuff. It's the only green screen shot in the whole film is is me. So <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, turned out to be good. Uh, and I think, it, I think it works, you know, people actually think that Mads was there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. You guys asked about it in every interview. Like, oh, was it like working with the bear? He's like, oh, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting a film called Polar. <laughs> <laughs> Which, with no polar bears. If you enjoyed that little snippet of conversation here from the Corridor cast here with Joe Penna, please consider listening to the whole episode. It's a fascinating conversation. You will not regret it. It's the perfect listening for a long car ride. It's found on youtube.com slash Corridor cast on Spotify, on iTunes, on anywhere you want to listen to podcasts, it is there. All right, go check it out. Thank you.